This was our world 64 million years ago. The central plains of North America were under water. Here, near the edge of the sea, it's a subtropical swamp. This is the late Cretaceous period, the time before man, although some early mammals managed to eke out an existence. They survive by eating insects, living furtively, and staying out of the way. For well, this is the age of the dinosaur. Some of these reptiles, like Ornithomimus, are only seven feet tall, but their domination of the environment effectively blocks the mammal's chance for widespread development. Ornithomimus may have terrified the unwary mammals, but even for him there was danger. There was Tyrannosaur. Ankylosaur, the armored lizard, was normally peaceful, but able to fight off all comers. Not all dinosaurs were meat eaters. The peaceful Edmontosaurs were vegetarians. They probably lived communally and posed no threat to the other inhabitants of the prehistoric world. The duck-billed Edmontosaurs had better things to do than fight.
Triceratops. Each egg was almost a foot long, but their chances of survival were slim. No one is absolutely sure what forces led to the extinction of the dinosaur. All we know is that about 64 million years ago they died out. With the death of the huge reptiles, the way was now open for mammals. And it would be mammals, not dinosaurs, who would prove to be the survivors after all. <laughs> 